Yo, what's going guys? This is Jay Mike back again with another Hearthstone video, and today we have more cards revealed for the uh invent in, uh Dr. Boom's Incredible Inventions mini set, which is coming out in five days on Tuesday. So uh wait, no, four days on Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we've, uh, I, I've got a couple of cards I, uh, that I've missed the past couple of days. Uh, so <laughs> let's go ahead and start taking a look at everything. So first things first, we've got Demon Hunter cards. So Sock Puppet Slither Spear, uh, one mana, one three. This minion's attack is improved by your heroes. So... What I'm curious about is not only, like, uh, does it keep the stats, um, but also, how does it work with uh, Spirit of the Team? Like, do, do it, does it just passively become a 3-3 three, three while uh, Spirit of the Team is on the board? Or... I don't know, I don't know. Wait, why why is the uh, umpire's grasp three mana in the card library? They ha they haven't updated the mana cost on it. They haven't updated the mana cost. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've also got return policy. Uh, so three mana spell. Discover a friendly death rattle card. You've played this game. Trigger its death rattle. Now note that it says death rattle card. Death rattle card. So it can. It can discover an umpire's grasp if you really want it to. And it just says play this game. So on turn four, uh, wait, on turn five, uh, after you played uh, umpire's grasp or on turn four, if you coined it out, uh, you could not only uh, use umpire's grasp to swing with the weapon, you could use return policy to trigger its death rattle to get like another uh, demon from your deck and have it cost two less, which most likely will be Window Shopper. So this makes Window Shopper uh, Demon Hunter good once again. <laughs> this is uh oh boy, <laughs> that, that that's my reaction. Is oh boy, <laughs> I I I don't really have any words for it. Uh, man. Uh... They're they're gonna have to nerf Window Shopper again. <laughs> they're gonna have to nerf either Umpire's Grasp or Window Shopper, uh, because it's Window Shopper uh, Demon Hunter is just gonna be good again. And then we have a uh, Gibbering Reject, uh, four mana three three, and it says after your hero attacks, summon another Gibbering Reject. So it's basically like a Gibberling or Feral Gibber, uh, if you remember those cards from the past. So, yeah, I, I don't think this card's going to be good. I, I don't think so. Unless, I mean, this plus going down swinging is really good interaction. Because you could just attack and fill your whole board with the uh, gibbering rejects. So, if you can get this to stick. You can play going down swinging on your opponent's board and then uh, just have a full board of gibbering rejects. I, I don't I don't think that'll be very good, but it's something you could do. <laughs> Plus, you're definitely not going to play this in uh, Window Shopper Demon Hunter because uh, Umpire's Grasp is uh, going to be pulling only the Window Shopper. So, I mean, it's a demon, so you're not going to want to, like... Worse in the pool of the Empire's Grasp. So, I maybe an, ag, an aggro Demon Hunter or something like that. I, But no, I don't see this seeing a plain standard. Um, yeah, I just don't. And now for Hunter, we, have, uh, we are starting off with Wilderness Pack. Uh, one mana spell, add five random beasts to your hand at the end of your turn, discard them. Uh, depends on how, how, how the beasts are. If you get something like, uh, Toyranosaurus, or if you get, uh, King Plush off of it, 
that'll be good for like uh, Reno Druid. I mean, not Reno Druid, Reno Hunter. But you could also get something like Painted Cart Canvasaur, which isn't bad, but it isn't necessarily good off of like a one mana card. Um, what other beasts are there? Uh, you've got rambunctious, uh, rambunctious uh, stuffy, which you're never going to get the uh, reborn value off of. There, there's just a lot of like, I don't know. Th this could be good in Reno Hunter, but other than that, I don't see this seeing any play. Uh, yeah, there's just so many like bad beasts that you could possibly get off of wilderness pack here. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be good at all. Um, we've got Bargain Bin, a new Hunter Secret. Uh, and it is, after your opponent plays a minion, spell, or weapon, draw a card of the two other types. So if you uh, if your opponent plays a minion, you draw both a spell and a weapon. And if, you put, if uh, your opponent plays a spell, you draw a minion and a weapon. And if you... And if your opponent plays a weapon, you draw a minion and a spell. Basically how it works. Um, yeah, this is going to be really, really good. It's very it's very cheap draw for uh, things like their cheap spells, uh, their cheap we weapons that they want to play, like remote control. Um, it could easily get them uh, patchwork pals or rc rampage or uh, saddle up very mu very fast uh so yeah expect zoo hunter to uh play this card if i'm being honest cuz that is just very very good <laughs> oh my god and then finally for hunter we have uh, product 9 subject 9 is back and he is uh he's looking Pretty decent. I, I love the card art, honestly. But, uh, Product 9. 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, mech, and beast. Uh, Battle Cry. Recast every friendly secret that triggered this game. So, if you... I, I think this is gonna be really good in Reno Hunter, because they already play things like Hidden Meaning, uh, Titan Forge Traps, as well as, uh... I, I've seen people uh, run Bait and Switch in there as well, and then they're also going to be playing the, uh... the other one, the, uh, Bargain Bin. So, that's at least five secrets that, if you can get triggered off before Product 9 gets off, like, you're going to be very, very happy. The Product 9 is going to be good in... Reno Hunter, but I don't see it seeing play in uh, the uh, Zoo Hunter because it, I I think it's going to be too slow. But a third copy of a Bargain Bin in the Zoo Hunter, I think they, I th I'll I think some people will try it, but I don't think it'll be good. But it'll be fun. This this card is gonna be fun, <laughs> but yeah, Hunter is Hunter is gonna be insane after the mini set comes out. If I'm being honest, like Jesus Christ, this is this has been the Hunter set. They have all all these cards basically see play. Uh, you got Bargain Bin that's gonna see play. Uh, Fetch I've seen it see play. <laughs> Uh, Jungle Gym definitely sees play. It got nerfed. Uh, Painted Canvasaur sees play in the Zoo Hunter. Patrick Pals busted fucking card. Remote Control see sees play in all Hunter decks. RC Rampage, good fucking card. Uh, the only bad cards from this uh, expansion are like Hemet. And Wilderness Pack, in my opinion. Mystery Egg, insane, especially in Wild. Uh, Product 9, I think, is going to be really good in uh, Reno Hunter. Toy Ranosaurus, uh, where it got buffed, is a lot better than it used to be. King Plush, love King Plush, honestly. Um, but yeah, what do, you, what do you guys think about Hunter? Okay, and then we've got Mage. So we have Malfunction. Two mana spell, two mana arcane spell, deal three damage split among all enemy minions. If your deck has no minions, deal three more. So this is 
So this is literally arcane missiles, but worse. But if you had, if your deck has no minions, it makes it good against uh, like Flood Paladin or Zoo Hunter. But man, this. I, they'll they'll run this deck because it it's just good against all aggro decks, but no other mage deck is gonna run this. If I'm being honest, this is if it didn't have the added thing where it said uh, if your deck has no minions, deal three more. This would be a one out of five. But where it it's it has the uh, no minions tag and it has like an added benefit to it, I think it'll be a two out of five in standard, one out of five in wild. Like the only reason this card is gonna see play is because the no minions tag. But other than that, nobody's gonna run this. We've got buy one, get one freeze. Love the uh <laughs> love the name of the card there. Freeze a minion, summon a frozen copy of it. Oh boy. What what is it with them uh, doing all this stuff where Oh god. You could you could use this with Sif. I mean, that's just a better reverberations. Yeah, like why why run reverberations uh for the com for the OTK when you can just uh, play buy one get one freeze and just have it not die in one hit but either way if you're going for the OTK for Sith mage like you're you don't even give a fuck <sighs> and plus this uh this can target titans although you will not be able to use the ability the next turn uh, that you get it, but that is very intriguing that you can freeze a Titan and get a summon a frozen copy of it. Yogg is gonna be fun if this uh, pulls this off and it freezes the Yogg and gets a, a frozen copy of a Yogg. That'll be interesting, honestly. <sighs> I don't I don't know man. I I think I it, I I love how fun this card could be, but I don't think it's going to see that much play. If I'm being honest, I don't think it's going to I I don't I don't think it's going to be that good if I'm being honest. Uh I hate saying that too because it's such a fun name of a card, and then like you can uh, free, you can get a frozen copy of a Titan minion. Like, damn, dude! But it, it that that Titan minion is not gonna stay up once you uh, once you uh, get that copy of it. All right. So next up for Mage, we have Dark Moon Magician, uh, three mana two four with elusive. After you cast a spell, cast a random spell that costs one more. Hmm. Um. I don't know what to say about that. I don't think this is going to see any, much play either because uh, it doesn't go into the no minion decks. Um. And then just the other decks. It. The. I. I. This is. This ain't going to see any play. It's. It's a cool effect. It's an interesting effect. But the this ain't gonna see any play. Um also is that the uh Dark Moon Rabbit that he's pulling out of the hat? The ten mana one one that had poisonous and cleave and stuff with rush? If so, that's cool. I like that. I like I like uh the callback to uh the Dark Moon Rabbit. Okay, and that was it for uh, Mage there. So uh, let's take a look at Paladin. So uh, we have Flickering Lightbot, which is a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three with Gigantify. So uh, if you remember that, that just adds a 8-mana eight 8-8 eight eight copy of it into your hand. So costs one less for each holy spell you've cast this game. Hmm. 
Well, this ain't gonna go in the Flood Paladin because they don't run uh, that many holy spells. I think the only holy spells they run are Hand of a Doll and uh, Crusader Aura. Um, I don't think it's gonna see any play in Hand Buff Paladin either, which is kind of ironic because, like, you could uh, if you could. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think this is uh, gonna be that good of a card. But anyways, here is what the uh, eight eight version looks like. Uh, wish that I could get a uh zoom in of it, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that uh the flickering light bot is gonna be that good if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, we'll uh we'll just have to see. And then we have Holy Glow Sticks, which is a four mana spell, four mana holy spell. Uh, that does life that has life steal, deal four damage, cast one if you cast a, a, a holy spell this turn. Huh. Well, this can go face. I, I don't know. I I am glad that the that they are starting to print bad paladin cards again. Uh, <laughs> I will say that, but man, I. I don't, I don't think this sees any play right now with uh, what I've been seeing off of the card library so far. Oh, and I forgot this. Uh, Wackanol, a uh, one-mana paladin spell. Discover a paladin weapon from the past. Give it plus one, plus one. Um, I'm trying to think of any good cheap paladin spell. I mean, not paladin spells, paladin weapons. Um... Maybe the uh, unidentified ball uh, could be a good one to discover. It'll be a 3-3 three, three or a 3-2. Uh, not 3-2. A 3-4. Uh, no, it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. And then it'll have that bonus effect where it could just do a lot of things. Where it could uh, give your things plus one attack. Give your minions plus one attack. I think the unidentified mall will be a good weapon to discover off of this I don't think that uh, the paladin decks that are uh, running this right now will uh, that are uh, rampant right now popular in the meta are going to run this if I'm being honest because <laughs> like the only good ones I can think of off of the top of my head I could be I, I, I'll probably be forgetting like big big uh, huge Paladin weapons, uh, silver sword, the uh, and then also uh, what what was the uh, one five weapon from? Was it cobalt? Not cobalt. Uh, that was when they got vine cleaver. Um, the one five weapon for paladin that uh, gave the plus one plus one to a minion and then lost a durability. That could be a good one to get. Also, it'll be a two six weapon. That'd be a good one. Um, I forget the name of that weapon though. Uh but that that's a good one to get too. But I don't know. I don't think this is going to see play unless you're going for either the unidentified mall or the uh the 15 weapon. Um maybe Reno Paladin uses it get like uh what 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 is it? Maybe they could use it for Silver Sword or uh, Vine Cleaver or something like that. A 5-4 weapon there. And then uh, Silver Sword was like a... Would be a 4-5 with the buffs uh, from uh, Wackanol. I don't know. Uh, I, it's definitely an interesting card. Uh, I'd, I'd like to test it out some. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to see any play with the meta how it is right now being super aggressive. Uh, okay, so we've got, uh, some, uh, rogue cards now as well. We've got Twisted Pack, so, uh, Hunter got its pack, and now Rogue has a, a pack. Uh, one mana pack, uh, add five random cards from other classes to your hand at the end of your turn, discard them. I think this is a lot better than the, uh, Hunter one, where it just adds beasts, because... This, uh, it can go into, I don't think, uh, Spectral Cut, I don't think Spectral Cutlass Rogue is gonna necessarily run it, although it would be good synergy because you could get, uh, more durability added on for, uh, your, uh, 
uh, Spectral Cutlass, but it'll be interesting for the test as well. I don't think it's going to see play in it, but it'll be fun to play around with it. Maybe, I, I may just uh, add one copy of it into the uh, Cutlass Rogue that I have. that Because it looks fun, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, and then we have Dust Bunny. So, uh, Dust Bunny, 3-mana, three 3-2 three, beast with a battle cry and death rattle. Add a random piece of junk to your hand, which could be either a coin, a rock, a banana, or a knife. So we we already know the uh, the banana one one mana plus one plus one from like King Mukla and stuff like that. Uh, we've got the coin, which would be really good to get off of that wicked knife. Okay, so that you that's uh, just uh, they they added that twice. So that's just the uh, weapon that you get off the hero power. So it's not bad. It, uh, and then the rock, which is the uh, common uh, excavate treasure, one of the uh, common excavate treasures where it's just a one mana deal three damage to anything. Uh, this is interesting. If you get the, uh, you know, this plus Sonya, if you get like the rock, uh, that's just six damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's just six damage per like rock that you generate so if you get like uh so let, let, let's just think about this so say you start out with the uh, sonya water dancer you play dust bunny you get a rock uh you backstab it you get another rock that's 12 damage right there that's 12 damage that can go face <laughs> Along with whatever weapon shenanigans you're going to do with the Deadly Poison and Valir's Gift. Is this going to be good? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. If it didn't have the knife, I would say that it would be good. But since it does have the knife, I think that bogs it down a little bit, if I'm being honest. Um, ew, I don't know. It's definitely a very interesting card, though. Um, yeah. And then lastly for Rogue, we have Dubious Purchase, which is a four mana spell. Draw three cards. Uh, combo, destroy a random enemy minion. Ooh, it has random on it. But uh, drawing three cards for four mana is relatively pretty good. Uh, well, if you can prep this out, it'll be a one mana. Draw three cards, destroy a random enemy minion, which will be... Wait, no. What two mana? I keep on forgetting that prep uh, discounts two mana instead of three now, even though it's been that way for fucking years. <laughs> My brain is stuck in like 2019. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> if you can prep this out, it'll be really, really good. But I'm trying to think if. If the uh, Weapon Rogue and the Mining Rogue want to run this this card. Because, I mean, Weapon Rogue already has a good amount of card draw with uh, things like uh, the one where it has, gives your weapon plus two attack and it draws you two cards. Uh, and then uh, uh, lists also run Gear Shift. So, you know, that's just even better draw for cheaper. I compared to compared this card to like those cards, I think they they just rather run the uh the cheaper cards that draw you like relatively the same. Um I don't know. It, it, it'll be interesting. I I don't think this sees much play. Maybe maybe fringe. I think it'll definitely see fringe, but nothing meta breaking wise or nothing 
top metal wise. Okay, and then for Shaman, we're starting out with uh, Murloc Grofin, which is a one mana one one with Gigantify. Uh, Battle Cry summon a Tiny Fin with Rush and stats equal to this minion. So uh, this doesn't actually have Rush on it. It just uh, gives the minion that it summons Rush. So the uh, Tiny Fin that it summons. Uh, it it's just a one mana one one with rush and then the uh eight mana eight eight is only slightly bigger i thought i thought gigantify was supposed to be like oh this is massive this ain't massive this is just yeah you know what this uh the, yeah it's it just add water it's like the uh little di uh dinosaurs that you add to uh, in water and it grows <laughs> um yeah i i don't know this could be really good if you uh if you use shutter block before the eight man at eight eight one um so i think this will see play in reno shaman but Nature Shaman ain't gonna run this card, if I'm being honest. Uh, <laughs> has nothing to do with the uh, nature spells or anything like that. Um, honestly, I think this could see play in Reno Shaman. I'm gonna rank this uh, like a three star in standard right now. Um, I could be wrong. I could be dead wrong. <laughs> But I think just like shutter block plus the eight eight, uh, that just makes you have uh four eight eights on the board, three with rush. That is literally even better than uh Galacron. Uh, well, no, you don't get a weapon off of it, but you summon three four eight eights as opposed to three. <laughs> Wait, no, Galakrond only summoned uh, two 8-8s, right? I, I, I forget. I forget the, like, uh, Galakrond Shaman, how many it summoned. But either way, I think the big one will uh, work well with Shutter Block. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and then we have Rocket Hopper, which is a 5-mana uh, 10-10 with Rush. And it overloads you for four mana. Jesus Christ. Talk about stats. <laughs> Talk about stats. Who cares about a four mana 7-7? Seven, seven? I want a five mana 10-10. Ten, ten. God damn. <laughs> this is insane stats wise. And if you can generate a random beast onto the board and have it be this, like... You're happy because you don't have to overload for four and you get a five mana 10 10. <laughs> but honestly, uh, maybe this sees play in Reno Shaman because it's a big rush minion, but I don't know. You're overloading so much. I don't. Th I think the overload is uh, what's uh, going to kill this card and not half people want to play it um because then on turn six you're just you only have two mana what are you gonna do summon a fucking totem <laughs> um yeah that is that is interesting i love that it's a frog with a jetpack though <laughs> are you all gonna ask for this one to be orange too i love the flavor text there <laughs> oh that's great Oh, that's great. <laughs> and yes, I would like it to be orange. <laughs> Y'all should have thought about this already, you know. I'm just saying. And then we have Wave of Nostalgia. Uh, five mana nature spells. Oh, Nature Shaman could run this. <laughs> They're not going to, though. Uh, Wave of Nostalgia. Transform all minions into land le random legendary ones from the past. All minions. So, is this how it works with, like, uh, fucking, what, what was it again? Uh, 
the the Azerite Murloc. It does it. It, it transforms like everything on the board and doesn't do like in the hand and in your deck as well. I would love it if it transformed every minion like everywhere, like both both persons fields, uh, both persons hands and both persons decks. That'll be like super fun. <laughs> um. Honestly, this is just a joke card to get off of uh, things like the uh, the Yogg spell for Mage, as well as, uh, yeah, Yogg in the box where it ca casts uh, five or more, uh, or Yogg Saron, uh, the Titan, something like that. But it, it this will make games really, really fun. <laughs> It'll it'll make you lose though, most likely. <laughs> Cause you're just getting rid of all your shit. But that that is fun, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Alright. Yeah, nothing for Warlock. Okay, so uh Warrior does have some stuff. They have a standardized pack. Uh, where it's a one mana spell, add five random taunt minions to your hand at the end of your turn, discard them. Uh, I don't think this is good. <laughs> uh, what 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 taunt minions are there that are good right now? Terum, Terum's decent. Terum's good in Paladin, but in Warrior, it's not gonna be very good. Uh. I don't know. This is not going to see any play, if I'm being honest. I love... Uh, this would be good for Taunt Warrior and Wild. No, it's not. <laughs> but... It it's it's not good. It, that's a one star card. That's pro This is probably the worst card so far in the mini set. And Wave of Nostalgia <laughs> was just the card before this. If I'm being honest, this card is not worse than Wave of Nostalgia, but, like, damn. This is not good. Because <laughs> there are not a lot of good taunt minions in Standard that I can think of. And then we have Part Scrapper, a uh, two-mana spell. Lose up to five armor. Your next mech costs that much less. Uh... If you're playing Reno Warrior, you're, you're happy to see this card because that means you can play either a four mana Zilliax that summons a copy of itself, or you can just uh, get a zero mana Burrow Buster. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. This on this for Zilliax is good, but man, I I don't know. I don't I don't think I don't think this uh, goes into Reno Warrior. Th this. There's a lot of, like, very good cards that are coming out in this mini set, like Dollmaster Dorian. Uh, not Dollmaster, Puppet Master Dorian. Uh, that's uh, gonna be put into Reno Warrior. Um, and this, this, this card ain't one of them. This, this ain't, it, it people might do this just to get, like, the four mana Zilliacs. Just to get it into the Inventor Boom Pool, so that way people don't, like, Reno their board or, like, use Reska to, like, take control of two of them or some something like that. Because I've had that happen in several games. Um, <sighs> it's an interesting card, but I don't think it sees any play. If I'm, I, I don't think it sees meta play in, like, Reno Warriors. So I think it could with the uh, Zilliax, but I don't think it's going to be I don't think there there's just better cards I could go into it. And then we have Safety Expert, uh which is a 10 mana 8/8 eight, eight with Rush and Death Rattle. Uh shuffle 3 bombs into your opponent's deck. I mean, you could have uh this be 5 mana <laughs> with uh with the uh one card that makes you lose five armor. Um, where it's a death rattle, I don't think this goes into uh, Reno Warrior. If it was a battle cry, it absolutely would. Because Bran is just that stupid. 
if they don't nerf Bran for the mini set launch, I'm gonna be upset because, like, you know, they're just it's all gonna be Reno Warrior <laughs> in 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 standard. Um, safety expert, I don't think sees much play. If I'm being honest, um, so the bombs, yeah. Why 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 is it saying boom bot? Why 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 does it have a boom bot in the related cards? Shuffle three bombs into your opponent's deck. It it's just this. Why does it have a boom bot in it? I don't know. All right, four cards left for uh, the reveal so far. There are uh, two more tomorrow, uh, but they will be at like 5 a.m. and 1 p.m. for tomorrow. So I'll record that video and post it tomorrow when I get back from uh, work on Saturday. But anyways, we've got Pro Gamer to start off the uh, neutral cards. Uh, battle Two mana, two, three, battle cry. Challenge your opponent to a game of rock, paper, scissors. The winner draws two cards. This is literally Cup of Ace from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm going to tell you why this is not going to see any play. Because uh, <laughs> if you lose, your opponent draws two cards. And you know why you don't want your opponent to draw two cards? That means it's a minus in the card advantage. <laughs> uh, you don't want to play... Unless you're playing a mill strategy, you do not want to play uh, a card that draws your opponent cards. That is the only time you want your opponent to draw cards is if you're running a mill strategy. There's no mill support in Hearthstone right now for standard. So, Pro Gamer, you are not seeing any play. This is, this is the worst card uh, in the mini set that I've seen. <laughs> and I've seen fucking Wave of Nostalgia. Um, yeah, you... The highs will be very, very good, but the lows will absolutely suck. That is my rating for this card. Zero stars. This is not going to see... This is going to see negative play. <laughs> Only time this is going to see play is if you, like, generate it somehow. You do not even want to generate this off of something like Scarab Keychain or something like that. Or the, uh... Uh, as right chunk where it discovers a two cost that makes it free. Even when this is free, you do not want to play this. <laughs> and then we have Explode an Ear. Uh, three mana, two, four. Bomb Synergy. So this goes with the uh, Safety Expert card that that we saw earlier at the end of your turn shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck when drawn and explodes for, for five damage again why does it say boom bot for the related cards that's weird i don't know uh but either way uh explode near um uh, bomb warrior ah it's not gonna see play in in standard with the cards right now because it only has safety expert and explode in here unless they print uh other bomb warrior support for uh later on i mean with the weapon that uh gives that triggers like a death rattle for uh warrior you could get like six and then with explode near you get like seven bombs in one turn possibly you could possibly get <laughs> seven bombs in your opponent's second one turn. If they draw them all, that's 35 damage. Your opponent's dead after that. I don't know. May it... You know what? I'm going to try a bomb warrior whenever uh, the expansion drops. <laughs> Not the expansion, the mini set. Um, If this... If, if a Drakari Enchanter was... Uh, in standard right now, this card would be a whole lot better because you shuffle two in there. But where it's not, uh, you, I don't, I don't think it's gonna see much play. But it, I'm, I'm gonna have fun running it if I'm being honest. Next is Building Block Golem, a uh, five mana six three with Rush, Death Rattle Summon three random one cost minions. Uh, yeah, this is. This is a two pack of ass if I'm if I'm being honest. Um, there's not a lot of good one drops uh, that that are that good to summon, really. Um, I'm just gonna take a look up here. 
Corridor Sleeper, literally dormant. Uh, and this is just summon. So, like, right now, Tar Slime is, like, the best option out of, like, the Whizbangs Workshop cards. So this is uh, just out of the Whizbangs Workshop cards. Um, where you only summon it, you don't get the Gigantify for the uh, Murloc uh, Growfin into your hand. Um, nothing there. There's just not very good, very many good uh one one cost minions that uh would be good to summon off of building block golem, especially if you get uh corridor sleeper, which is just gonna be taking up a board space until seven of your minions die, which. That that is just really really bad. Uh, yes, <laughs> zero stars. This is gonna see negative play, <laughs> just like all these other uh, mo most of the rest of these uh, uh, neutral cards. <laughs> and then we ha then finally out of the cards that we have uh, had revealed so far, we have the Replicator Inator, uh, Doctor Doofenshmirtz. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> The devs, they are literally reading my mind. Dr. Boom is uh, the greatest inventor in the Tri-Zone area. <laughs> Dr. Boom's Evil Incorporated. <laughs> but yeah, the replicator uh 5-mana five 5-5. Five, five, it has Miniaturize and Gigantify. So you, don't, you not only get a 1-mana one 1-1 one one version of this, but you get a 8-mana eight 8-8 eight eight version of this as well. Uh, the tiny one is literally just a uh, Dr. Boom with like a fucking gun. <laughs> and then the eight one is, he's literally got like a Thanos suit of armor. He's got like an Iron Man suit of armor on him. <laughs> and then, uh, the effect is after you play a minion with the same attack as this, summon a copy of it. I don't think it's going to be good, but it'll be interesting. It'll be fun, possibly. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to be good, but it'll be it'll be interesting. Don't really have many other words for it. <laughs> um yeah, I I don't think this sees a uh, very much play either. Um but yeah, that's uh, all the cards that are going to be part of the uh Dr. Boom's incredible inventions uh mini set so far. We've only got two more uh expansion releases uh card reveals here we got one for death knight and we've got one for warlock tomorrow so i'll post a video going over those cards tomorrow and yeah sorry once again for uh not staying up to date on videos for these cards i've been uh work <laughs> i've been at work and i've been uh i've been late i've been going to the gym the past couple of days and i'm gonna be going after i get this video posted well get this video edited and uh uploaded uh not necessarily posted because i'm gonna be scheduling it but either way uh <laughs> What do you guys think of the mini set card so far? And uh what what archetypes are you uh interested in running? I'm 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 gonna give a uh bomb warrior a run whenever the mini set drops. I I'm gonna expect to lose a lot, but hey, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna see a video of that, best believe. Uh but yeah, anyways, uh with that being said. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. It really means a lot to me. So I will let you all go. You all have a good uh, rest of your day. And uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I read all your comments. So uh, yeah, please leave as many comments as you would like. I read them all. I interact with as many as possible. Um, but yeah, uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take it easy.